Hello, my name is Alexandra Mitzi and this is the second video for the Sophistic Rhinoceros interface. In the first video, we have presented some basic features of the interface, such as the method to give structural information to Rhino objects, how to export a Rhino model to a Sophistic Finite Element model, along with some new features for the new interface for Sophistic 2014 version, like the new Sophistic tabbed panel or the improved visualization of the sections. In this video, we will concentrate more into the new features of the interface for the version 2014. Actually, I will show you how to export a mesh Rhino object to Sophistic, the mesh matching for predefined meshes and automatic meshes, and the extraction of the visualized surface mesh. Sophistic supports the finite element mesh generation not only from Rhino NURBS models, but also from Rhino mesh objects. Let's draw now a polygon mesh plane. So we go to the mesh tool and polygon mesh primitives and we select the plane. We see now that we have formed a planar mesh surface. I switch to the top view and save it. If we go to the mesh tools, we will see that Rhino provides many possibilities in processing the mesh properties of a system, like moving the nodes or to delete the mesh face, along uh, with many other commands as we can see here. Next step is to give structural properties in this Rhino mesh object. So I will go to the Sophistic tab panel. I will select the mesh object. I will set it as a structural surface. And then I will give the material properties and also the reinforcement material. Those materials I have already defined in the SSD project. So I go to the Sophistic Toolbox, I press the Export Selection, match the entire system, and we go to the Animator, and we can see here that the mesh network from the Rhino mesh plane is identical to the Sophistic Finite Element mesh network. Let's assign now some boundary conditions to this plane. So I will draw a polyline curve I select the two curves and then I go again to the Sophistic tab panel and I assign some boundary conditions to those two curves I export again the model and here we see that our system now is enhanced uh, with some boundary conditions. Back to Rhino. Beside uh, this mesh object I will draw now a NURBS uh, plane surface. So I go to the surface, plane and I select the three points I select the NURBS surface and again I give some structural properties as we did before and I will export the entire system and we go to the animator and we see now that the freeform plane mess has been adjusted automatically so as the edge nodes here to match perfectly with the boundary nodes of the predefined mess let's go back to Rhino let's define now some single mess faces into the nerve surface this makes sense for several structural objects where you want to control the mess network like for example a column head. I go to the mesh menu and I will select the 3D face option and I will draw four quadrilateral elements
I select them and then I join them to one mesh. I will drag now this element into the surface. Next step is to exclude uh, this quadrilateral mesh from the plane surface. For this I will first duplicate border of this object. I will write dot border and then I will trim the freeform plane surface. So I select the trim option the object that I want to trim the press enter then I go to the mesh and I will define it as a structural surface also but uh, without defining a material or reinforcement material so again I will export the entire system and we can see now our let's say column head here and how we adjusted the mess according to our desires we return to Rhino and now I will show another nice feature of Sophistic interface I will select the surface and by clicking this show mess of structural surfaces we can see the finite element mess of the nerve surface then by clicking the extract visualization mesh button we create a new mesh plane for this nerve surface as we can see here I will undo this action this mesh object can now modify it according to the user's preferences this feature is very powerful and makes sense when we have very complex freeform shapes and the mesh generation in some points is not good or appears errors. Then we can modify the position where the problem is and we can modify the mesh network there. So I can show now a small example of mesh modification. I will switch to the perspective view. I will first select the surface and I will drag this out and uh, then delete it and then for this mesh I will enable the points on so I can select some of those I press escape I will select the mesh object I will assign the material properties I will mess the entire system now and in the animator we can see here that we have a new position of the nodes that have been adjusted Rhino gives the possibility of importing over 30 different format file types as can be seen here. Among them there are some widely used like the IGES or DWG or STL file format. This ability of Rhino together with the sophistic ability of handling both the nerves and mesh Rhino objects provide the possibility to the user to transform any geometrical shape of the supporting file formats into finite element mesh which can later be statically analyzed into Sophistic. Thank you very much for your attention.